Yo, what's up guys, it's T-Bag, and today I'm finally playing Battlefield again. We're gonna play with the coolest weapons in different Battlefield games. I know it's kind of a goofy topic, but, you know, I just wanted an excuse to try out different weapons. In Battlefield 5, we're gonna start, and we're using the FG-42. Now, this is definitely one of the coolest guns in World War II, and I know that when people are collecting World War II era guns, this is one of the most sought-after weapons. So, I don't know, I just had to use this one, but don't get me wrong, this is definitely not the coolest weapon in this video, so stay tuned. Now, it's been a long time since I've played this game. Now, it's been a couple of weeks since I've played this, so forgive me if I'm a little bit rusty, but I'm gonna try my best. The FG-42 is not really known to be that great in this game, so we'll see how it works out. Oh, those are a lot of people. As you can see, it's a little bit of a hit fire machine. A hit marker machine, I mean. Okay, we got a couple of kills. There he is. How did he not kill me? We are still alive somehow. Okay, we're taking this objective. Finally. Okay, maybe I should use the bipod a little bit more. Come on, come on, quickly. The empty reload of this gun is like adding 2.3 seconds or something like that. That's really annoying. I see you. Can we please take this freaking objective? Come on. Wow, he tried to katana on me and he completely failed, but he got my friend, but I can revive him. Come on. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Nice teabagging, guys. I'm proud of you. revive you underwater now that's pretty heroic come on get up here there's another guy but I don't have enough ammo to kill him so I need to reload where the hell is he there he is oh I got a double and another one your computer has been locked up uh, what's happening? What is going on? I think I'm being hacked. Psych! No, I'm just kidding. I'm using NordVPN, so don't worry. I'm safe. NordVPN is a virtual private network company, and it's pretty much the best in the game. A VPN can be used for many things, but let's be honest, most of us use it to be secure online and to access content that is normally region locked. I recently found out that Canada has the most movies available on Netflix and with NordVPN it is just simple as clicking a couple of buttons and bam, the entire Netflix catalog has been unlocked. This also works with Disney+, Plus, Hulu, you name it. But most importantly, NordVPN is extremely secure with no data logging, insanely fast service in almost 60 countries and on top of that they have a 30 day money back guarantee so there is no harm in trying it out. So now by using my special link nordvpn.org slash teabag or by using the coupon code teabag at the checkout you get 68% off a 2 year plan. That's only 371 a month and you'll get an extra month for free as a bonus. So be sure to use my link down below nordvpn.org slash teabag or use code teabag at checkout to get this amazing deal. And if you're not feeling it after 30 days, like I said, you can get your money back. Thanks to NordVPN for sponsoring this video, let's continue. Okay, so the FG42 on Battlefield 5 was pretty cool, not gonna lie, but in Battlefield Hardline, we're gonna do it a little bit different, because we have this thing. This is a freaking harpoon gun. I don't know why it's in the game, but I like it. I mean, come on, not, many, not too many games, at least not too many military games have this kind of weapon. This is gonna be kind of a challenge, because I think the travel speed of this thing is extremely slow. I do hope that it's a one-shot kill and that you are not appear on the enemy minimap when shooting, but uh, we'll see. I missed him anyway, but I just wanted to see how fast this uh, projectile travels. Okay, if he's gonna stand still... I just missed, I just missed, come on. Oh, now he's standing still, of course he's standing still when I am reloading. Okay, we're gonna let him go. Okay, vehicle hit 5, so it doesn't do a whole lot of damage against vehicles, who would have thought. There we go, it's a one shot kill. Yeah, that was satisfying. I can already tell, this is a fun gun to use. Okay, we need to be stealthy with this thing. Oh, it's changing directions the last second, why would you do that? Okay, I hit him in his leg, but it's still a one shot kill, that's good. 
that makes it a little bit easier for us. Yes! Woohoo, that's so satisfying. I'm pretty sure we need to come back as a support player so we have an uh, ammo bag that we can resupply of because you're gonna miss 80% of your shots and then you only get like two kills alive. Oh my god, I got knifed. Yes. I mean, that must hurt, right? To get like impaled like that. Okay, let's see if we can get some more kills. This is a lot of fun. Okay, let's see if we can hit a moving target. Nope, we can't. I can't hit him though. There we go. I actually missed from point blank. Okay, that's one. Hopefully he doesn't turn around. I can get another one. There we go, right in his ass. I got killed by a sabotage device. What the hell even is that? Okay, now we are in Battlefield 1 and I can safely say with confidence that the coolest gun in this game is definitely this thing, the Orbrus pistol. For the people who don't know, this is basically a bolt action pistol. It's in essence it's a motion gun but cut down to make it basically a pocket sized sniper rifle as you can see. I think it's pretty cool. It's a one shot kill at very close range, otherwise it's a two shot kill and at extreme ranges I believe it's a three shot kill. Nevertheless, it's cool, we're gonna use it and hopefully get some decent kills. There we go. We missed our first shot but we waited for him to come around the corner, you know, then it's like a couple of meters break and then we can finish him up with the Orbrest. This is probably not gonna be a high kill game, just like the uh, Harpoon gameplay from Battlefield Hardline. 69 damage, there we go, there we go, that's a clean kill. Maybe I should aim for the head next time. Again, just a little bit too late, I got you, I got you too. Okay, we have revived more people than killed people so far. There we go, that's what I like to see. A headshot from that range with the all breast. Oh, come on. 45 damage. 90 damage. As this counts as kill, I'll take it. I thought it was a headshot. Okay, if we throw some smoke down, maybe we can push up getting close and get that one shot kill that we need. How do I miss from this range? There we go, that's a one shot kill. How do we miss this? Bruh. Dude, no. No way, I missed that as well. You gotta be kidding me. Bruh. Dude, how do I miss these things? Okay, there we go. Okay, I need to I need to get in the groove, you guys. I need to throw down more smoke. I knew there was a guy in there. I can't see them. My aim, everything. There's another guy I need to revive. Oh. Imagine being in World War One and some guy with a freaking sniper pistol walks up to you and shoots you like that. That must be some sight to behold. Okay, we are in the bunker, that's good. That guy is also inside the bunker, literally. That's what I like to see, come on. I'm not gonna reload because as soon as I'm gonna reload, people are coming through, you'll, you'll see. What the frick is going on? Stick in the trenches and I'll be fine. We're coming through any second now. That's what I like to see, one shot kill. He was low on health, but that's, that's okay. And another one. There we go, finally. There we go, come on. Bruh. I can't believe I missed that first shot. I thought I was aiming for his head. 52 damage. 33 damage. Oh, there's nothing I can do against these guys. That's the range where it's a 3 shot kill. That's a nice little Rambo action. I like that. 
Oh, just too late. He barely charged my friend. I'm sorry. Well, we got the objective. We got him too. Let's keep it going. There's another one over there. No, don't kill me. There we go. That's the true shot kill and one shot kill potential I want from the Orgress. Oh man, I love Battlefield 1. Uh, I just... It aged so well. Why did you respawn? I could have gotten you. Okay, it's close quarters time. It should be a little bit easier now. Whew. We're managing, you guys. We're managing. Quickly reload. There was a guy right there. Come on, dude. Don't... That was a headshot. Okay, last but not least, we're playing Battlefield 4. And I don't really know why. Whoa. I don't really know why, but I chose the PP2000 to be the coolest gun in this game. I don't, I don't really know why. I've been obsessed with this gun ever since I first saw it in Battlefield Bad Company 1. That's the first time I saw it in any video game. And I don't know. I just love the design. It's, it looks so weird and compact and strange and Russian. And I don't know. I like it. There's a guy right here. Two guys, actually. Near our base. There we go, we got him. There we go. Take a breath right here. Throw a smoke over there. Obviously, this thing is only meant to be fired from really up close. It's a PDW. I know there was another guy right there. He's just prone. Kill assist, I'll take it. There you are. That was a little little nice nice little flank right there. No! Ooh. This thing should have 45 rounds. Why did I freaking die there almost? Give me some help now. Oh, the shorty 12 gauge is uh, coming in clutch here. Base secured, nice. Again, we got both objectives. Whoa! I didn't notice I'm right in their base. Hey, look at this guy. Not so fast, buddy. Time to get roadkill. There we go. Okay. Check this out. Smoke grenade over there. Time for the EOD bot to do his thing. Got some visual cover thanks to the smoke grenade. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. This is such a good tactic. Why is nobody using this more often? There we go. Arming. That's what I like to see. Now we need to push in closer. Somebody to my right. And we got the objectives. Nice job. Nice job. I'm saying nice job to myself, by the way. Need to defend it, you guys. Whoa, hello. I think we got him. Nice. Look at this. Oh, that's a Rambo action right there. I saw him, I saw him, don't worry. I think we got it, I think we got it. No! Oh, we just saved it. Oh, I just saved it. Come on. Yeah, we got it, 100%. There we go. We won the game. Oh, I love Russian Battlefield 4. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I've gotten these suggestions from my Discord server. Link is down below if you want to join. And with that being said, i see you guys next time.